Hi, I'm Jim Keenan. Uh, I teach theological ethics at Boston College. I'm a Jesuit priest, and um, I'm also the director of the Gavelli Presidential Scholars Program with Kathy Bailey and the director of the Jesuit Institute and vice provost for global engagement. But like you, basically, I'm a person who's sitting at home because of the coronavirus. And Tomeo and Jack Butler have asked me to weigh in, if you will, as a Jesuit about how am I coping with uh, all this, but in light of a nation spirituality that animates our lives. So I thought I'd share some things with you. Basically, how do I spend my day? Because we're much more uh, alone right now and isolated, um, the first thing I do when I begin my day is go for a walk. And just to allow, as my day begins, any of the things that especially could disturb me or are disturbing me if I wake up uh, with some pettiness or some uh, annoyances or something that's really not right, I like to go for a walk to air them out, to just let them surface. And, um, and as I do the walk, I find myself moving from getting rid of the annoyances that are in me to moving toward all the graces that are functioning. Uh, things that I'm uh, happy about, that I'm grateful for, things that I really feel that I've been blessed with. Um, and so I move from, if you will, uh, struggles to um, satisfaction and joy. And then at the end of it, I, I, I conclude my passage. It's about uh, nearly an hour, and it's about three or four mile walk. And I concluded with petitionary prayer. I pray for about 40 people by name, uh, people that I know well, that I love, that I'm concerned about, their well-being, um, and in particular, those who are at risk right now at, at, during this uh, time of the virus. And then I pray also for those who have died. And I pray again for them by name, those who are closest to me, and then also those who are just, who have recently died. And in both instances, I pray an anima Christi to uh, finish each of these prayers. And then I start my day. And I try to start my day as normal and natural as ever. I try to make it as ordinary as it is. I try to do my letters of recommendations, try to show up to class. I try to do uh, well, any tasks that I have, attend a meeting virtually, uh, respond to a student's questions. Um, whatever, but I try to be present. I try to do my work as a normal human being. And then, but all during the day, I find myself constantly going through this question of what does Christ want from me in the middle of this crisis? And um, so I ask myself, how am I supposed to be responsive to, to this? I'll find myself wondering, should I write this? Should I respond to this person? I find that my demeanor should be you know, basically empowering, supportive, uh, guiding, um, you know, that somehow that the vulnerability of life is protected and generated and uh, that somehow whatever is happening on that particular day that I'm there as a help and not a hindrance, that I'm there to um, support and, uh, as I say, accompany um, more than anything. And, and occasionally to stand back and say, well, is there anything that you could bring to the surface that people could really appreciate and that they would find it helpful? So I, I have to say I do it along the sustained, all through the day, examination of conscience of what is it that Christ wants of me and constantly asking myself that question. So each day there's something different happening. And then at the end of the day, I um, relax. I, fortunately, I'm with uh, three other guys here who are terrific, uh, Andrea Vicini and uh, Ken Himes, both ethicists, so three ethicists. And then we have Jean-Baptiste Diada, uh, re, uh, a doctoral student from Senegal, Jesuit. Um, and we have dinner together, the four of us. And it's really quite uh, exceptional. It's uh, really been a, a great community experience. And then I, uh, by the end of the day, I do some journaling uh, to see how my day has been blessed. So I pray that you have blessing these days, that, uh, that in this challenge and these times that we're especially mindful of those most uh, at risk, uh, that we're attentive, responsive, present, um, but that we're also thinking of uh, beyond where we are. 
uh, that somehow we can bring um, healing presence, uh, inclusive presence, uh, a presence that God would want. Uh, so blessings on you all. Take care.